I'm very pleased to be back in Maiduguri today at this very important event to mark the handover of the Center for Distance Learning and International Conference Center and other facilities donated by Alaji Dr. Muhammadu Indimi. This is my second visit to Maiduguri in under two months. As a matter of fact, I think under six weeks. And I must say, and uh, Mr. President asked me when I told him I was going to Borno, and what are you doing in this Borno? <laughs> <laughs> and I was saying that I'm always impressed by the energy, character, and resolve of the great people of this city and Borno State. <laughs> I also bring you, of course, the very warm greetings of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, who just last December commissioned this facility, which we are today formally handing over to the University of Maiduguri. Alajin Dimi is one of Nigeria's foremost businessmen and, as we all know, an investor of international repute. But there are indeed, there are very many wealthy and successful Nigerians. But what stands him out is that he's also a leading light in philanthropy in Nigeria. His concern for others and his passion to support others is evident, not just all around Borno State, but also across Nigeria and around Africa and internationally as well. We are proud of his achievements and will continue to look to him to mentor, to guide and teach others in business and philanthropy so that his positive traits and habits can be multiplied for the benefit of all citizens of our nation and beyond. But I think his actions show that the investment that he most cherishes is investing in people. This donation from Alajin Dimi is part of a broader portfolio of investments in people that he has spearheaded over the years. The project in Burma some years back, providing housing to IDPs, was especially timely given the upsurge of the needs of the IDPs and the situation in Bonu as of that time. And a lot has evolved, of course, through the efforts of this administration. Education is the spark behind every girl and boy and child. And this is the only way by which they can maximize their individual potentials. And I think Alaji Indemi's work, through his foundation, continues to focus on education as a core area. He supports hundreds of students for various degree courses and master's degree programs in medicine, in pharmacy, engineering, computer science, petroleum engineering, business finance, both in Nigeria and abroad. We're aware, of course, that he builds the Muhammadu Indemi Business Center at the famous Lean University, USA and also donated the Muhammad Indimi Faculty of Mineral and Petroleum Resources to the International University of Africa in Khartoum, Sudan. His choice. I think that his choice of education as a core area for his philanthropic efforts is an inspired one. Knowledge is the key to lifting millions of our people out of poverty. It is the lifeblood of economic empowerment and development. It is the guarantee of a better life for our people. Education has become a great equalizer, even between developed and developing countries. 20 years ago, no one imagined that Nigerian firms would be competing with firms in Silicon Valley in the technology space. We're excited about the fact that Nigeria, from 2015 to now, in the midst of two recessions, has produced five out of the seven unicorns in Africa. A unicorn is a company, a technology company or innovation company that is valued at over $1 billion. And today we have those companies valued over $1 billion, started in 2015 by young Nigerians. And today, you know, uh, you have the likes of Flutterwave, Ope, Andela, Interswitch, and Jumia. All of these are already valued at over a billion dollars. 
This is the value of education. This is the value of the knowledge economy. These companies achieved the coveted status despite the disadvantages of our region globally. Imagine what we could do if we have a more committed focus on science, on technology, on engineering and maths in the programs that we have in our universities. Nigeria could very easily dominate the technology space, just as we dominate Nollywood, Carnywood, and the music scene. The knowledge economy of the 21st century emphasizes the need for all of our children to have education so that we can have many more unicorns, many more great successes across the world. Barely two weeks ago, Governor Zulum, our former Governor Shetima, and I were celebrating the fifth year of the establishment of the Learning Center here in, in Maiduguri. We saw children who barely five years ago were in IDP camps, many without parents, as of that day, when we were celebrating the fifth year anniversary, they were teaching us how to write codes, how to program uh, uh, robot, uh, how to program robots, how to, to develop websites and other products. These were children under the age of 15. In a few short years, they have already developed that capacity. They are here in our midst. They are here in, in this in my video. <laughs> Such is the power of education. The University of Maiduguri has trained, and I'm sure that we all know, has trained many Nigerians, including the current Senate president, the group managing director of the NNPC, and of course, our very own uh, Professor Baba Ganazulum, governor of Borno State. For, for this university, and for this university to keep up with the fast pace of development in the world, it needs enhanced investment. That investment can, cannot only come from the government. The forward thinking and innovation to imagine, to conceive and build a center that allows for students in Maiduguru to interact and take lessons from Shanghai, Houston, or Paris is exactly what is needed for this institution to keep pace with the rest of the world and to keep pace with similar institutions all over the world. This is the kind of educational innovation that we're experiencing by the donation of this facility. This center will also allow students to be enrolled uh, in the University of Maiduguri, from Abuja, from Lagos, or even Johannesburg, expanding the enrollment base of the university, providing increased options for students to learn and interact. And I'm told that almost 20,000 students can be accommodated by this distance learning service from across the entire, from across the entire world. The Buhari administration is also continuing to invest in universities. University of Maiduguri is in the phase two of what we call the Energizing Education Program, funded through the Rural Education Agency. What is happening with that program is that the federal government, through the Rural Electrification Agency, in partnership with the World Bank, is now in the advanced stages of establishing a 12 megahertz solar power facility here in the University of Nigeria <laughs> and the teaching hospital. The project will also include a training center and is modeled around similar projects that have already been completed. We've completed similar projects in Bayero University in Kano, the Federal University of Agriculture in Makodi, uh, the Usman Danfodio University also, and the Alex Ekweme Federal University. All of these have these kinds of facilities already. Additionally, I'm pleased to announce that through the Economic Sustainability Plan approved by Mr. President, the NNPC, the REA, and Yola Disco are partnering with my office and the office of the Governor of Borno State to deploy a 30 megawatt solar power to critical areas of Maiduguri here in the state. This, this will be a six solar, uh, six solar plants of five megawatts each. So there will be six separate solar plants, each of five megawatts. And of course, uh, each of these will be to augment the grid and uh, supply uh, the, the, what, what the grid is already supplying. 
and protect against any kind of energy sabotage. Let me also say that the efforts of the federal government and private persons can only be truly useful where the state government is serious about development. Where the state government is serious, then the efforts of the federal government and the efforts of private persons like uh, Alaj Indimi are useful. And I'm proud to say that my brother, the, uh, Governor Zulum, governor of this state, has by his great achievements here shown exactly that seriousness. He's built several, <laughs> he has built several mega schools, massive commercial centers, over 8,000 housing units, the first flyover in Bono State. And what is most heartwarming is that all of this at very low cost, very, very low cost. And this is so important. So let me again commend and congratulate Alaji Muhammad Indimi on the completion of this landmark project and the successful handing over of the International Learning Center to, uh, the, uh, to the University of Maiduguri today. And congratulations also to the University of Maiduguri, the worthy recipient of the Center for Distance Learning and the International Conference Center and other facilities. And congratulations also to the good people of this state and uh, the people of Bono State and also all of those who will benefit from this uh, facility and from all of the other facilities that are being donated today. God bless the University of Maiduguri. God bless Bono State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.